guys, welcome or welcome back. Today I'm playing this war of mine. It's a 2D point and click survival game, kind of set in kind of the middle of the war, but you play as like a civilian trying to survive. Uh, you may notice it says continue here. <laughs> it didn't record first time, so <laughs> let's have another try. Okay. Right. Go. These guys. Dunno. Uh. I haven't played this game properly before, apart from the 10 minutes or 15 minutes I played before this. Uh, right. Okay. First things first, we've got to see, like, what these guys have spawned with. Ooh, it's a different house to last time. Okay. Cool. Right. So last time, one of them spawned sick, and one of them spawned wounded. So, hopefully you'll get a bit luckier, and hopefully it's enough stuff in the house to keep us going for a while. Right. Okay, so we have Bruno, Pavle, and Marco. Right, Pavle's fine, Bruno's sick, and Marco's wounded. So I think it's the same as before. But, right, okay. I've got to send them all on tasks to try get as much done in the day as possible. I guess for the first few days in the day cycle, it's just clearing the house and seeing what goes. Okay, uh... Right. Okay. Well, I'm doing it. I've got a shot, so it's going to take forever to clear. Okay, uh... I've got... starting to get quite a bit of stuff. We, we kind of want to make a bed on the first day. Because I think he's like, it's quite as good to sleep on the floor. Um, right, Bruno. To the workshop as quick as he can. Okay. Meanwhile, Marco finds some stuff. Okay, lockpick, single use. mistake on that, but we're going to make it down there. And then Marco goes clears the stuff. He's already clearing that stuff. Yes, it's going to take a while. But, oh, oh these, these are like metal cabinets, so we need something to open. We've got that one lock big, but that's only one use. We should probably go for like these cabinets here, but, oh well. So, swore of mine. So, like what I've seen of it so far, it's very good. It's, yeah, I don't know, it's just something about it. Very right, good at it. Oh, run, look at that. <laughs> Come on, Bruno. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll try and keep it so, yeah, I won't play without recording. You never know, it could mean I kind of record a bit more. We should be good. Uh, I don't know how long this game lasts. I assume there's like some sort of end. Can't just go on forever because there's only a certain amount of stuff. Unless you're supposed to die. Which would make it really dark and weird. But no, I assume there is some sort of end. Right. Anything else we can make? We got ooh, actually no, use a luck pick to get to get here. Okay. And have is done here, so open the camera. And there is... not a lot. Yeah. I don't think there's a huge amount here. Anything? Right, I guess... this Marco's wounded. And we don't have any meds. I guess if he sleeps it should make it a little bit better, but... Oh god, there are two sets of rubble to get to this one cabinet. There better be good stuff in there. Right, you go clear this one. Uh, we don't have a lot. Okay. Uh, go clear that one then. Actually, no, no. Workshop. Keep changing my mind. Um, just can't wait for that mine cycle so we can actually get all this other stuff. Right. Uh, food's pretty important, but I don't think they need to eat in the first day, so we might get away with not doing that. If we don't have to. But then again, I think. It's more important than like, the metal workshop, so... Right, crude stove. Might as well put it in the kitchen, because... 
Galaxy Day. Oh. Okay. So we're about halfway through the day cycle. We're trying to make most of it early on so we can get as much stuff in the house as we can. Okay. I'm saying that. There is a guy asleep, but you know, he's recovering from his wounds. And I made him get out of bed. Well, I got him out of bed, so you might as well start clearing rubble with your bare hands. Uh, right. So I don't know how much each of these guys can carry. I think Marco's the best scavenger is it? Well, it's this there. The skill set. So we'll send him out. Like the first guy. Okay, Bruno, you're done. Nice. Please be good stuff in here. I guess we can trade the jewelry, but uh, that's not great. Uh, is that it? Is that all we can do? Actually, no, no. We can do some more stuff in the workshop, surely. Can we make a metal workshop to make like, lockpicks and stuff? Yes, we can. Just put it to the side, I think. Yeah. Okay. And then, of course, we have Pavlay standing around. Oh, I don't know what to do. Uh, I guess you can sit down somewhere if you've even got a chair. No. I won't know what to do. I'm, I'm literally blind. There you go. Sure. And have a seat, Pavlo. And then Marco's almost done that. So we might be able to move on to this next pile and then we set the day. Oh wait, no, we just made that already. Wow. Um, ah, yeah. Components. Right. We don't have any of that. Marco, start clearing this. I think that's all we can do. So we'll end the day. So it's now like scavenging mode. So, Marco, you scavenge. I know he's slightly wounded, but he's got the biggest carrying capacity. So, Bruno is six and he sleeps in Pavlet Guards. Okay. We'll go to... We'll go to the abandoned cottage. I think it's probably, like, the best place. And we'll take the lockpick. I know it's, like, just taking up space in our inventory, but, you know, it could be, like, a cabinet or something we need to unlock. Okay. Right. So... Let's hope there aren't any people here. Well, we just started running, so I'm guessing there aren't any. I can't see any of the, you know, like the... No, it's like a little red circle that appears for, like, footsteps. So, no, if we go down here... Ooh, there's loads of stuff we can search. Teddy bear? Sure, whatever. That's what I was talking about, that's something. Probably just a rat or something. Mm -hmm. More teddy bears. And we're already out of space. This is just great. Is there anything we can use that like, a lockpick on? To kind of justify its kind of taking out? I imagine not. Right, what's more valuable? I imagine weapon parts are more valuable. We can get like, wood at any point. And also we can come back. It's not like you go to one spot and that's it. You can't go back to it. We'll probably go back to it, like, tomorrow night. Okay. Anything. Nah, uh, we're full of stacks and stuff, so we can't pick up any of that. What's this? Family photo of parents and two daughters. Good thing the girls don't resemble their father. He looks like a bear. Wow, that's mean. Alright, fridge. Okay, food, hopefully. We need food. Yes, loads of food. And veg. Don't know why food like veg doesn't go into food. Oh well. We'll ignore that. Uh shell casings, we don't need that yet, because well, we don't have a gun, so. Actually, you know, we don't want the one. I think the veg is a little bit better. Okay. Right, so we actually have quite a bit. Ooh, cabinet. So what we'll probably do is unlock it 
and I'd probably never take any of the stuff from it, but you know, we'll come back to it. So, right, we now have to wait for him to leave the room. Ugh. Yes, I know you could use a shovel. Oh, uh, we're the ones watching you. But, yeah. No, th there's something about this game, I really like it. And the art style's nice as well. Which is a really unique game. Okay, it's, it's kind of sad to watch. Oh, uh, it's taking so long. You know what? It reads bio as well. Right. I thought I'd been through hell before. I'm a fireman. I went to blazing buildings to save lives more times than I care to remember. But back then I had people teamed up with me. Again, ugh. <laughs> I had people teamed up against a common foe, namely the fire. Nowadays your former neighbour can kill you because your grandparents spoke a different language than his. This is true hell on earth. Is that it? Drag, drag for more? No? Not working. Okay. Right. So that's Marco's backstory. I don't think I'll read the others, it's... it's I'm still digging. Come on. He's really taking forever. Actually, no, I've only used about half more time, so... Quite a lot of stuff here. I mean, this is probably like the tutorial area, but that's it. And Marco's back. That's nice. Cool. So, once it's once it's loaded, day two. Okay. So we've got quite a lot of stuff. And we weren't raided. That's nice. So if we look at our stuff, we actually have quite a bit. Right. Okay, some thoughts. <laughs> our shelter is one depressingly ugly ruin. We should do something about it. So, I guess you can have some herbal meds, whatever that will do to you. Pavle, hungry and tired. I guess sleep. Uh, and then Marco's... Actually, no, I think Marco's a bit higher priority because he's our scavenger. Pavle, look at the metal workbench. Okay, a crowbar. Yeah, I think, I think a crowbar is quite useful. We can like, open all the cabinets. Uh, get all the loot. Right, and where's our cook? Okay. So Bruno's now sick on meds. So he, sh he should be a bit better. Right, what do we need to cook? So we need fuel. We can make fuel. Probably need quite a bit, so. We'll leave 10 wood left for constructing more stuff. So, apparently, you can finish off this, and then we can use the crowbar to open the thing, so we don't have to use lockpicks. I don't know what really an advantage of using lockpicks is over, kind of just using a crowbar. I guess it's a bit quieter if you're scavenging. But, yeah, 
who gets to use crowbar first. Okay. Moment of truth, come on. Yeah, I'm not sure if it'll come out in like the YouTube compression, but the music is actually really good. open the thing. Oh. There you go. Just a little bit of a glitch there. I guess panel I should probably go back to back to the regular workbench and see if you can do anything. And Bruno's gonna have to no, actually no. Bruno needs to cook. Oh, can make anything. Imagine the rainwater oh we have one component short. Really? Right, radio. I imagine this is probably quite useful. Can we put it in the kitchen next to the chair? No, we can't. Put it down there. Bruno, you should probably cook some food. Is, is everyone hungry? That's just great. Uh, we're not gonna have enough food to go around unless someone needs raw food. Okay, cooked food. Oh, okay, so it makes two in one. Okay, it's more nutritious and tasty than raw food. It gets even better and more filling with veg. Make. So hopefully Bruno can make some nice food. Pablo, you can. Okay. Oh. Right. Oh, No, don't eat it. Don't. Oh, fuck. Let's eat Marco's food. Oh, Bruno, so greedy. Pretty nice to have a chair next to the radio, but. Okay, Bruno. Can we make more food? No, we can't. We haven't got enough water. Oh, we don't have a rainwater collector. So, Pavle is going to have to remain hungry. What do we need to make a rainbow to Components. The f Where we went last night, that had components, so I think it's best if we go there. Right, we should probably have someone to sleep. Um, anyone tired? No, Marco's not tired. Oh, that's nice. So I guess Pathway should go to bed. We might have to sit Marco on a chair, why not? That's strange music. I don't know, if that actually go down there to turn it off. I think that's all we can do. Oh wait, no, no. <laughs> Almost missed this. Uh, why is there a tank in the garden? Uh, oh, oh. Ah, we've got this here. Uh, stop sitting on a chair to open this. Right. Is that... So we've got that. 
and then this last from here, and that's all the stuff in the house. So that all of our other like, resources that I haven't got for scavenging. Okay. Come on, Marco. Bandages, food, and books. Right. Is anyone wounded? No. No, it's fine. He's not going to finish that meal of the day. So, we just end it. So, back to the scavenging thing again. Marco should scavenge again, because there's nothing wrong with him. And he carries most of that stuff. Uh, Pavle's hungry, but apart from that, there's nothing wrong with him. So he will guard, and then Bruno will sleep, because he's still sick. Shelled school. Now, we've already done 41% of the amount of cottage, so we can go back and get stuff. Um, was there anything? No, we don't have to take it because we did the lockpick to open the cabinet last time. So we shouldn't need anything like that this time. It's part on the other side. Ah. Right. Anything in here? When you ask me something now, but it would be searchable. Right. Two wood. That's great. Come on, Marco. There's got to be some better stuff in here. Food would be nice, but materials can... Okay, I guess if we get components, we can make the rainwater collector, and we can make filters, so we can get the water to cook with. Which is nice. Ooh, search that as well. So, I find it's leftovers from last night. It's still quite a lot of good stuff here. Food. How many did we not take that last time? Uh, coffee. Uh, nah, that's probably quite valuable actually. The gunpowder, I imagine we can't use until we actually have, like, a gun. So, <laughs> do I take that? Fertilizer? Don't need that. What else can we take? Ooh, water. Water stacks a lot, so. I think that's it actually. I think we can run to exit. I mean, what? We spent a tiny amount of time that we actually get scavenging tonight. But again, we're full, so... And Marco's back. Coming into day three. Guys are still alive. That's nice. <sighs> What'd they take? Oh my god. Bruno was wounded. Is that it? They didn't take anything. Okay. Could have gone worse, could have gone better. Right. Well, that's the first look at this war of mine. Uh, I think I'm gonna be playing this game quite a lot. I really like it, and I'm not going to play it off camera, this is it. So, yeah, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say how often I'm going to upload, because I'm kind of held to that then, but, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Please leave suggestions, hate, or whatever in the comments, and leave a like, really appreciate it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.